Hey guys, a quick video tutorial on how to set the path variable to run Java programs from the command line in a Windows 7 system. Now you need the Java Development Kit installed for this and if you don't have that installed I'll put a link in the description at the bottom of the video. First of all we need to make sure we know where the bin folder for the Java Development Kit on your system is. So we need to go to the Explorer and locate your hard drive where you saved the Java Development Kit. Go to Program Files, Java, and here's your folder here. It will be JDK 1. Point something, depending on which version of the Java Development Kit you download, or which version you already have. If you click on that, you'll see a bin folder inside, and double click on that as well. This folder has a lot of applications in here, just the uh, .exe files. Uh, you want to copy the path of that folder there. After you have that, you can close that and right click on the computer in your start menu and go to properties brings up this window there's an advanced system settings button at the left hand side which brings you to the system properties window and down at the bottom will be an environment variables button you want to click on that and in the box at the bottom the system variables you want to move down to where you can find the path system variable you can put it in user variables, but I've always just put it in system variables. I think the only reason, the only difference is that it, you can use it on more than one uh, user account on your computer. I think that's the reason. Uh, if you then click on edit, you can now paste your path that you copied a minute ago into here. Uh, you don't need the semicolon at the end if it's the last thing here. Uh, I've already had mine set up for a while, so it will be further back here we go so you've got the C program files Java development kit slash bin this ends with a semicolon of course because there's something after it but as I said that if it's at the end you don't need the semicolon and then after you click OK you should be able to run your Java programs uh, with no problem whatsoever and no help from any outside software so I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and stay tuned for the, the series of Java tutorials that are going to be coming up uh, and I hope they help. Thanks a lot.